Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today word is, God said, this is your turnaround season. You do all you can because it's your time. I want you to know that it's your time. It's your time to stand. It's your time to move forward. It's your time to do the best that you can. Don't look at nobody else. I want you to focus on you. Start moving forward and start doing what the Lord is asking you to do. It's time for you to turn around in this season. It's time for you to get things done, which the Lord told you to do. God said, this is your turnaround season. It's time for you to turn around. It's time for you to get things done in this season. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to do everything that you need to do. God said it's time for you to move forward. It's not time for you to keep looking back. It's time for you to turn around and look what God has in front of you. God got something in front of you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, I got something in front of you. By the time you, listen, all I see is a woman on stage. And God is saying, turn around on this stage. By the time you turn around, you're going to see the audience. It's people that are sitting in front of you. They want to see what you're talking about. They want to see what you made up. God said, this is your turnaround season to get things done. This is your turnaround season to perform what you have done. Do whatever you need to do because this is your turnaround season. God have more in store for you to do. It's time for you to get things done. It is time for you to, to study. It's time for you to go back to school. It is time for you to get things done because God said he has something on you on the inside. Something on you on the inside that's need to manifest because when everybody see it, it's going to surprise everybody. God said, this is your turnaround season. It's time for you to turn around and see what the Lord is about to do in you. It's time for you to get things done. It's time for you to focus. It is time for you to focus on things which are above. You got to focus. You got to focus and start putting God first because God has something in store for you. And he, and he telling you, by the time you turn around, he said, by the time you turn around, you will see why I told you to stay focused. It's something that the Lord has in store for you. I want you to start paying attention and start asking God to help you to focus. And this season, you're going to have to learn how to stay focused. Let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I ask that you help your people to focus and concentrate, Lord God. Help them to put you first in everything they do. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I want you to know that this is your turnaround season. I want you to know that God is turning a lot of things around in your life. You know, you've been through a lot. God said you've been through a lot of trials. You've been through a lot in your life. And you never thought that you would be this far. You never thought that you would have the business that you have. Some of you have business and you want to grow more. God said, just start putting me first. Start praying more. I want you to understand when you pray and you start putting God first in everything you do, God begin to turn around your life. God begin to turn around things. And I want you to know when you stay focused and you start praying more and you start fasting and you start putting God first, God is manifesting something to come to pass. But you have to put God first because God said this is your turnaround season. You... You got this. And I want you to know that you got this. You can handle this. By the time you turn around, your audience will be clapping for you. It's something in store that God has for you. He says, stay focused on the head. Don't look back, but look ahead. He got something that's coming. God got a surprise for you. It's a big surprise. I feel it. God said it's a big surprise in front of you. You just have to keep moving forward. You got to keep moving forward and doing what the Lord is asking you to do. Because God said this is your turnaround season. This is your turnaround season. You do all you can because it's your time. This is your time. You know, some of y'all have been waiting for years and you like, Lord, when is going to be my time? Lord, is I'm too old to do this? Lord, I don't know if I can do this because it's too much. You've been asking God and God been telling you, it's your time. You heard it in your dream. You heard it twice. God said it's your time. It's your time to get things done. It's your time to stay focused. It's your time to just perform what you have. Study, do the work. Go to school, whatever you need to do, go back to school, study, study the class, do whatever you need to do to make sure you 
allow this dream to come true. It's a dream, it's a vision, it's something that you have in store that you need people to look at. You need help, God said. You need help. And God is going to allow your dream to come true. You know, sometimes I see a person drawing. And um, I see a person drawing. You drawing how you want your business to be. And God is going to, I see a white piece of paper and I see you drawing and you using a pencil. God is going to allow that dream to come true. I'm speaking to a person that has drawn their vision out. God said, continue to draw your vision out. He said, I'm getting ready to manifest your dreams to come true. It will come to life. He said, continue to stay focused. Continue to do what you're doing. You have to stay focused and allow God to speak to you. Allow God to speak to you. God is going to speak to you in different ways. How he wants to help you to make this dream come true. Some of you have to keep Stay in focus. Stay focused and allow God to do the things that he wants to do in you. Stay focused. Concentrate. Do whatever you need to do and pray on it. If you know that you need help with focus, read the Bible where it's on focus, pay, you know, focus, patience, you know, ask God to help you to just stay still. Sometimes you need to stay still in the season because God is trying to help you to get things through and you moving so much. Sometimes we do move a lot in the season that we in, but sometimes God wants us to stay still because God wants us to know that he is in control of it. When God is in control of it, all we have to do is just let God do what he do. I just want to say continue to stay prayed up, continue to do what you need to do for your life and just do everything that God is asking you to do. It's time for you to turn around. I want you to know that it's time for you to turn around. This is your season. This is your time. This is the time that you've been waiting for. You've been asking God. You've been praying for this moment. And God said, it's your time to turn around. This is this is your big moment. I'm telling you, God got a surprise for you that's coming to pass. And I'm telling you, by the time you turn around on that stage, people are going to be clapping for you because it's something that you did. It's something that you have worked hard for. And I'm telling you, continue to listen, continue to draw the vision, continue to draw what you want God to do in your life, continue to do the vision board, continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to do whatever you want God to do in your life. God said, when you stay focused on me, hallelujah, shout out, thank you, Jesus. God said, when you stay focused on me, I'm going to allow things to come to pass. He said, I'm going to do things in your life that you ever expected. God said, continue to pray, continue to hold on to me, continue to walk with me every step of the way. When when you well, listen, when you walk with God and you talking to God, God is speaking back to you. I want you to know sometimes when you go outside and you just start walking and you begin to feel the fresh air just blowing through your head. That's listen, God is talking to you. Let me tell y'all this. When I was growing up, I never liked going outside. I'm saying going outside all day. I would not go outside all day. I was the person that stayed home. But the Lord told me, this was way before I had my kids. When I was young, yes, I went outside and played. And um, as I got older, I would say like 16, 17, mm -mm. I ain't really go out there like that. But when I hit 18, 19, I went outside because the Lord wanted me to deal with the outside. Because listen, God speak to me. God will speak to me. I can be walking down the street to the store. I can be walking to the, the mall and the Lord will speak to me. He will tell me something about somebody in the mall. He say, look, go to the second floor and talk to somebody. That Y'all think God don't talk. God will talk back to you. All you got to do is say, God, talk to me. Tell me what to do. Tell me who to help. And God will tell you. All you got to do is stay consistent, love. Stay consistent and let God do what he need doing you. When you stay consistent, when you do everything that God is asking you to do, God will allow things to come to pass. You got to allow God to do what he need doing in your life. Because let me tell you this. God said, I'm getting ready to bring your dreams to pass. God said, I am getting ready to turn things around. 
in this season for you. God is getting ready to allow you to be the head and not the tail. You are going above, child of God. And I want you to stay focused and work hard what you want God to do. Whatever you want to do, work hard for it. Go back to school. Get your degree. I love you. I want to say be encouraged. Keep your head up. Stay focused. Stay focused. Please stay focused. Stay focused. Don't let nobody steal your joy because God is in control. He love you. God got you. Put your seatbelt on because God is driving the car. Thank you for watching. Don't give up, but pray about it. Stay blessed.